Hello everybody, I am Cyclone here and this is Call of Duty Black Ops 3 In today's video I'll be showing you the best and fastest and quickest way to be able to get your snipers in diamond or gold Whatever you're trying to reach and right now I'm going to be explaining the fastest and quickest possible and So you could be able to understand and for you to get your guns and diamond So eventually of course the cool thing before we get started Please feel free and hit the like button below If it did really help you a lot don't forget to hit the like button And also don't feel free and subscribe to see some more videos so anyway, let's get started with the video. Now the cool thing about getting these snipers diamond is just the fact that there is only four type of snipers. Yep, there's only four snipers. Should not take you that while, but you know, when I was trying to get these guns and diamond, it should take, probably take you about a week. That's a max it should probably take you. Won't take you that long, but I'm pretty sure it will help you a lot. So eventually by watching this video, it'll probably take you a week and eventually you'll be able to get a lot of cool information about getting these guns and diamond. So anyway, let's get started with the real thing. So of course, to get these Locust and the V or SVG, you do need to go play on random game mode, but the best game mode to play on is of course, is on Domination or Safeguard. The main reason why I play those two matches is the fact that there's lots of people on the other side of the match, and you could probably see them real quickly. They're coming to your way, you know where they're at, and you're waiting for them to kill them. So really, I really suggest you play one of those two game modes, it's up to you. Now for the Dragon and the PO6, you do need to play on Hardcore because they're going to be one shot and just because the Dragon is semi and the PO6 is three round burst. So you could play the three round, the PO6 you could play on the core, but I really suggest you playing on Hardcore just because, just in case you could get those one shot kills. So it could probably be super easy and should not take you that long. Alright, so the next thing before we get started, I do want to say about getting the one shot 100 one shot kills after getting those 100 one shot kills you do need to get the 10 long shot kills which probably should not take you that long all you gotta do is just camp somewhere behind the map or behind a building and if you think it's pretty quite long or really far distance it's worth it for you to kill them so as i said just camp just be careful where you're at and make sure you have a suppressor just the fact so people won't be able to know where you're at and they will not kill you except for the one that you kill because they won't know where you're at Next thing is of course is getting the burnt camo, which of course after that in order to get that you do need to get 50 kills without no attachments. Now this could be probably super easy also, as I said, just play on a really long match such as Domination or Safeguard, where you think could get lots of kills. If you think you get lots of kills, it should probably take you about like 3-4 to four matches, that's a cool thing. Now after that, you're going to be getting the blast camo, the blast camo you need to get is 50 kills with all six attachments which includes the optic and five random attachments so clearly you could just use whatever attachments you feel comfortable with and as i said also it will take you about two three to four matches not that problem but you know depends how many kills you get now after that we're going to get the battle camo now the battle camo is going to be a little little tricky but it will happen sooner also you do need to get is getting the to rapid kills. Now the rapid kills is going to get two double kills which you see two enemies quickly kill those two enemies and eventually it will count as one. So as I said playing on safeguard will be an easiest thing to play because there's going to be at least two people delivering the robot and you'll know where they're at and it's your move to get those kills from those people. So for you playing on safeguard probably will be the easiest place to get double kill. Now last but not least of course is the chameleon camo. Now the chameleon camo is going to be a little tricky because all you need to get is 5 bloodthirsties. Now the good thing is about this because back in Black Ops 3 you need to get 10 bloodthirsties but Treyarch decided to make Black Ops 3 5 bloodthirsties so I'm really proud of that and you know it's going to be so much easier. So all you got to do the best place I get these bloodthirsties is of course playing on Domination on Nuketown. Now Nuketown is going to be one of the coolest places and I'll be showing the attachments what you need also. Now the first attachments I definitely like to use is of course the Thermo. The main reason why I like to use thermal because you could be able to see the enemies and that would be where that could be really useful and you could be able to see the enemies are at at any position but as long as you get a direct hit that's a cool thing. Now the next attachment is of course this is a suppressor now the re reason why I like using suppressor is the fact that it will not affect your damage. Now and also they will not know where you're at but except for the person that you killed. So real quickly I have a suppressor because you'd be super sneaky and it will not affect your range or your damage well it will decrease the range just by a little bit but there's really no need to having range the other thing is of course is having fast max 
Fast mess is also really important to have because you do need to reload faster and I really do suggest you to have it just in case you're almost running out of ammo. You don't have to take hours for to reloading the weapon. So definitely equip fast mess. Last but not least is rapid fire. And the main reason why I like using rapid fire is just because just in case if you miss a shot from the enemy, you quickly shoot them again and kill them. So really, definitely want to have rapid fire. So anyway, hope you did enjoy this video. Hope this really helped you a lot. And if it did, as I said, don't forget to hit the like button below. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe. Also, really appreciate if you did subscribe. Because, you know, we are super close to reaching to 500 subscribers. I really do hopefully to get that close. And um, yeah, that's really cool. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If this really helped you out, make sure don't forget to check my friends' channels also. They really appreciate it also that you did. And that's about it. So anyway, the best place to camp on nuke sites, of course, is in the window because you will see the enemies coming there all the time. So anyway, be careful because they will be waiting for you also. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all later.